Good evening and welcome to this evening meditation. I know that you're part of a movie night right now. But this is a little break from all the excitement. Just a kind of relaxation to get your mind back on track. To make sure your mind doesn't get too fast moving. Because even if you're having fun, trust me, I'll tell you some stuff. But first, before we begin, this is not totally just a meditation is a little more insightful than my average meditation I will tell you a lot about things so anyway though like subscribe hit that notification bell and share this video with all your friends now let's begin so I will tell you uh, for 30 seconds just something about meditation. Meditation is really a practice. A practice, and even if you know meditation, this will be really helpful. It's a practice, not meant for you to fall asleep, like if you're doing a sleep meditation, or just make you totally not stressed out about anything. That's not what meditation is for. Meditation is for lightening it, and for making it easier to cope. It's not like your stress, it's not supposed to make all your stresses go away. I mean, if it does, great, but the real goal, let's say you're doing a stress meditation, the real goal for that is just to make it easier to cope with your med- with your stresses, or easier to fall asleep, or give some strategies to fall asleep. So, and really, even if you feel super happy, if your mind starts running too fast, it can not, it's usually not that good for your mind. And that's why, even if you're having a really good time, like now, maybe, even though my videos are terrible, I'm kidding. But even if you're having an amazing time, sometimes a little break can be very helpful. And just doing something for too long just makes your mind kind of explode. Even if it's happy. It's still not always the best thing. So just remember that. Anyway, close your eyes. Get in an extremely comfortable, just some comfortable position that you just feel like calm and anyone. Make sure your eyes are closed. Breathe comfortably. You're gonna relax, relax. Now part of meditation is imagining things, going to another world. Going to another world can be very helpful for you. It just makes your mind kind of, even if you're happy, just kind of align and always remember that nothing's ever perfect, but it's pretty good sometimes and sometimes things are tough but going to a different world when you're sad or mad or angry or very stressed out it can be aiding and taking you out of this world for a second and if you're really happy it just gets you a sense of reality which is very much needed in life so we are gonna go to a beautiful beautiful made up place this is the beautiful, beautiful town. Well, it's really known all over the world for its beauty and relaxation. And just known for being really fun, being like a good retreat, being in some points urban, and at some points suburban, and at some points very close to being just like farms lined up. It's a very nice place it's where you can buy real estate for very little money. It's cheap to live, and yet it's really quality. It's just generally an amazing, beautiful place.
So, you just are here. You decide to stop off and go to see the famous falls of this town. You think, oh, you're thinking right now, oh, they probably are good. Probably very beautiful, but you know, they're probably not the best waterfalls. But then you think, and then you decide, okay, I better go see them now. Then you go see them. Then your jaw totally drops. They're majestic with the sun shining each drop on each droplet of the falls perfectly. That and it's the perfect blue color. It's not the dark blue, but it's also not greenish. It's just the perfect, perfect, perfect blue. It is so nice and calming and relaxing. And you just go and sit in one of the uh, one of the observatory chairs because they have those. You just sit there and you watch. You watch the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful falls. Beautiful falls. Go on there. Then you start to fall asleep a little, but then you're like, oh, okay, I better go now and see some more of these sights. Because if every other sight is as beautiful as this one, then you're literally going to faint. But you just forgot, oh, I need to take a couple pictures. So you take like 20 million pictures. But then you leave it behind and move on. Now... You decide to go to the beautiful mountains because apparently they're very beautiful and high and the snow tops are great and that you need to go on them and get a beautiful view of the town. And even if it's an hour to get up there almost, well actually 45 minutes, it's not a tiring walk and then you're able to sleep up there too if you even want because it's a very big hill. So you go up to the top. Actually, it only takes you about half the time to get up there. And then, then when you're up there, you're like, oh, and then you suddenly look at the town. You can see all the beautiful sights from here. You can see the beautiful lake with the beautiful moonlight now hitting it in the sunset glimpse the sun the last the last rays of the sun hitting the lake beautifully and the waterfalls and then you see those wooden spas They're not actually made out of wood but you see the beautiful beautiful palm trees and other pine trees and leaf trees and all kinds of beautiful trees getting reflected with just a little bit of mistiness on them because it was always misty here you can't feel it but the trees feel it you just see this all and you pretty much faint it is so calm and it is so majestic and then you look to the north and you see you look the other way north and you see the northern lights I know this doesn't seem real but it is for now then you suddenly realize that the whole time while you were coming up and looking that the sun is set so you decide to come down come down the mountain but before you do that you look up at the stars and decide just oh I'll lie down under my blanket for a couple minutes and then you end up falling asleep there. 
far, you start looking at all the constellations, though, and you have sweet dreams about the constellations and how beautiful this place is. You're just calm, relaxed. You feel refreshed as you wake up to the morning sun. So then you go down the mountain. You go down the winding path down the mountain. Now, come back to the real world. Are you asleep? That's okay. There are only a couple minutes left now, at this point. About seven. Now, we're going to do something that I like to call muscle freeing exercises. This pretty much is where you release tension from your muscles, and then your body feels just a little lighter and calmer. So we're gonna run through it pretty quickly this time. Curl up your toes. Relax, now tighten up your hips and thighs and hips. Relax, now tighten up your abdominal muscles. Relax, now, now, tighten up, you're holding a breath, I mean, sorry, holding a breath, make sure you don't let it out, and to relax, now, raise your shoulders, Relax. Now, clench a really big fist. Relax. Now, smile really hard. Smile so hard. So hard that your cheeks feel kind of sore and that your teeth are really clenched together and that there's a lot of pressure there. Relax. That was just a brief tour through muscle freeing exercises. Now, we are going to move on. We are going to move on to something I like to call detoxing your day, your brain. Now, this is where 
I'm just going to give you a couple, a little while to go through your days for, from the beginning to the end and then from the end to the beginning. This exercise can be really aiding. It just clears your head. And you can even t say out loud some of the events. And I'm going to give you a little while now. This is not the whole thing. This is just a little brief tour through all of my meditation. Okay, now we're done. That is just, I usually do not gonna use a timer, but once in a while I might use a timer like that. Anyway though, thanks for watching tonight. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends who need this and this, a guide to meditation. And be sure to click that post notification bell and let me know if you like this video because I want honest feedback.